Let's put an egg into the water. You can see it sink. Now we'll pour some table salt into the vessel and stir it. The salt dissolves in water. We can see that the egg has surfaced. It looks like the salt has pushed the egg out of the water. Why has this happened? If a body sinks in water, its average density is greater than the density of water. If it floats in it, its average density is lower. An egg sinks in fresh water, but it floats in salty one. The egg's density doesn't change. This means that when salt dissolves in water, the density of the latter one increases, so the egg surfaces. We wonder what's going to happen if we diffuse air bubbles through the water. In this case, its average density will decrease and it will be more difficult to swim in it, which means one may drown. Let's check it in an experiment. We have connected a bottle with a cut-off bottom to a hose, through which the air will get inside the bottle. The air will go through a sponge and break into separate bubbles. A plastic egg floats in the water only slightly rising above its surface. Just a little decrease in water density would be enough for it to sink. When we blow through the hose, the floating egg starts to sink. To get a stronger effect, we'll take a glass tube and connect it to an air compressor. The object under experiment is floating in the water. We switch on the air compressor and see large bubbles rising in the tube. The object falls through them and goes down to the bottom. If we switch off the compressor, the object rises back to the surface. Should we try to pour some lead shot into the water, its average density will increase, so an object which had sunk in it may surface. Let's put an object with a density slightly higher than that of water into the tube. Then we pour some lead shot through a funnel and our submarine does surface. But it sinks as soon as we stop pouring the lead shot. It's amazing, but it's a fact. Let us look at the same process in slow motion. Perhaps it is possible to raise sunken ships from the bottom of the sea, after all.